I just, but I just love how like, like JK wrote like people would be like, hey JK, like you just like, there's a lot of stuff to eat mess. And she's like, well, Dumbledore loves to eat ass. <laughs> oh. Oh. And you're like, okay. And she's like, no, but Dumbledore loves. And it's like, okay, JK, stop. And it's like, you know what? They used to pee in hats. <laughs> pee in the hats? Like, there was that weird tweet where she was just like. Someone asked, yeah. someone asked what are the bathroom situation like in the, in the, uh, the Harry Potter universe, and yeah, they poop and everywhere and everywhere. There are no toilets. There are no toilets. Yeah, there like, are no toilets. Dumbledore is a human toilet. He's a piss pig. <laughs> and it's, piss pig. And it's God. just like, piss pig. yeah. Dumbledore. <laughs> All is, right. <laughs> Dumbledore is, loves to be human toilet, and it's just like, oh my God. Piss All right. Pig. Was, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Everyone and welcome back to the Bracketeer Season One, where we're deciding what is the greatest movie franchise of all time. We're in the semifinals. Whew. So far, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has made it to the finals, and we have the next semifinals match here right now, which is Star Wars pew, 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 pew. versus Harry Potter. Expelliarmus. When God oh, lame. Lame. Oh. bomb. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get into it. So, <gasps> oh, for, this is a weird. This is weird. These, but like, are, weird. these are weird. But yeah. like, but probably, oh, like these are huge. These are both like huge franchises. They both have theme parks. Um, all this stuff, like it's true. There's it's, like, they have, like, they have like a die land in Star Wars land. H hardcore fandom. They will yep. both slice our throats open on a moment's notice. Um, they're all, they're 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 different, but they're very similar in terms it, yeah. of like Actually, overall impact and stuff want, like that. You know, what? you're you're definitely right because I think a problem that both of these franchises have is that they've been so folk they've. Their main focus has been like these specific characters. Yeah. And they're just scared of like expanding to tell stories within the universe in other places. Yeah. Like Harry Potter, it always has to be about Harry. Yeah. Star Wars, it always has to be about the Skywalkers. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that is a, a that is definitely a fault of of them. Just but uh, these are interesting. It, it, it's interesting. I don't think it's necessarily true. I, I know. I mean, looking looking now, now that the newest Star Wars movie has come out, yes, now they've gone back to this thing where families do matter. And yeah, you're right. Ben Solo is a Skywalker. His grandfather was Darth Vader and stuff like that. I, I do think Star Wars, if if we're talking about that, if like people not to focus on, there's Fantastic Beasts and where to find those like different things. Yeah. But Star Wars, like has more different movies focusing on other characters and in the new yeah, movies yeah. focuses on other characters that, you know, John Boyega's character we were just talking about, Finn or whatever, mm. uh, has no, his lineage, not a big, not important, you know? No. Um, it would have been really cool. I mean, that how the first movie set it up, how he was going to have this rivalry with um, yeah. uh, Galact. What, what's oh, name? Phasma. Phasma. Yeah. What, a, what, a, what a missed opportunity yeah. Phasma was for these movies. Yeah. Um, but regardless, we're focusing on these other characters that are not like, you know, Harry Potter. You know what? And the third, you know what? The, the second movie in the new trilogy for Star Wars did a great job of, like, killing off the villains, the third film just should have been exploring these relationships harder. Yeah. There shouldn't have been, there should have been no fucking Palpatine, none of that bullshit, it's just, yeah. it's, it's, it's just them, like, we fucking did it. And it's, just, it's like Ray and Ben Solo kind of like, 
figuring out what the relationship like what the like what the fuck are we actually doing here right. and it, and it should have just been an exploration of there's there's no villain there's no fucking empire there's no spaceships all this shit mm. it, it it's like it's the relationship there's the people just need to figure out their space shit like and that's what it should have been i re- i and, respectfully disagree because, um, well i on top of peter's thing i'll say to like finally bring balance to yeah. The Force. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, in a universe where maybe Kylo and Rey are the two sides of the coin. Yeah. Uh, while it ended up just becoming... And granted, I loved Rise of Skywalker. Um, but I can I can see the argument of how, like, it just became, like, here's the Emperor, and he's so evil. And then... Here's a thousand ships. Who built them? Doesn't matter. And then here's... Who's crewing them? Oh! And then here's... Here's, uh... You know, Ben becomes good, and he makes his sacrifice. Um, and the, but then at the end, it's just Ray, and he and she's like the last one. What's your name? It's I Ray? mean Pinocchio. I, Ray, I, what? We <laughs> 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 don't. I don't fucking. Don't ask me about my past. <laughs> don't ask me about my past. <laughs> Look at him. He's heading for that small moon. I think I can get him before he gets there. He's almost in range. That's not a moon. It's a space station. It's too big to be a space station. There's a very bad feeling about this. Turn the ship around. <laughs> I actually really love that she took on the name. But but I think I think for me it's just like uh, there's a there's a great behind the scenes thing of when uh, Clone Wars was being made. Yeah. And it's George Lucas sitting with all the writers, and he explains the Force. I cried because he's explaining philosophy. He's explaining good versus evil, and it's so poetic how that has become a thing. And the and he fully explains like no, there is balance. There has to be balance. Mm. There's no good triumphs in the end. There's no evil takes over. It's balance. Mm-hmm. And with her being, I, I will also say the vast mm. movie should have been called Last Jedi if Ray is going to be the. Just the na- the yeah. names are always weird. Imagine listening weird. to George Lucas like talk about the Force in such an emotional and, like, intellectual way, and then writing a character that goes, Misa, Misa, Misa! It's a Jamaican alien coming in. It's very true. It's very true. There must be a balance of racism. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. this racist character is super racist, <laughs> and we have to have a like, very oh tolerant God. character oh over here. God. Like, how can you go from that to that? That's it's just like, so no. funny. Uh, I'm a man of philosophy. Me, <laughs> oh my God. I know. <laughs> it's, yeah, no. Roasted. It. Yeah, it's just like, how That's is really this possible? Really <laughs> what, what I was saying, so my, my respectfully disagree thing is like, kind of like we were talking about the James Bond film, they, they follow a certain structure. Last Jedi, really good at like, as we said, like lots of unexpected stuff. Yeah. I think the issue with me is like, when you, you do all these things, it, it's like, if that's going to happen, fine, but then what's the plan after it? What What is the... And for Star Wars movies, the big thing is about conflict. There is that final, like, it was, it was so... If you were the director of the takeover after Last Jedi, and you're like, I made The Force Awakens, and then you have that movie, I, I don't blame J.J. Abrams. I'm like... I do. You, you just, he, like... He... He basically, so the... I don't uh, think it was J.J. Abrams. He, I think it was just Dis, like, Disney. Everyone, it's film, the right? internet happened. It's just like there's all this internet feedback. And it's just like, well, we got we to gotta make the internet happy. And what ended up happening is that you, like, sacrificed all this story. You needed to, like, please the fucking Reddit and Twitter. And then you ended up with, like, a, like, a, like with nothing. Literally, <laughs> it was, you just ended up with this nothing movie. And, and, and well, it, it just becomes that... Like we say, like I said earlier, uh, when we were last talking about Star Wars, it's just that the fandom has such expectations of what they want to see, where it's like, uh, in Last Jedi, uh, n- there's not even one single saber battle, and it's like, okay, but that doesn't Star Wars doesn't have to be that. Yeah. Like, um, like, like, I, like, I, like, Luke sacrificing himself. Also, hot take. 
Luke Skywalker is a shitty Jedi. <laughs> just, just yeah. straight. Up. Yeah, he is not a good Jedi. Watch the original, the original trilogy, and see how he goes. He doesn't do. He's a whiny kid that just gets thrust into this world. Yeah, but he's a great character. He's a great character, um, but, but he's shitty not a, Jedi. He's not a great Jedi. I I, I like Luke's arc. I I, 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 I I love Luke's arc. I, I, love I like him. how he dies. It's the moves. That that was a very yeah. tearful moment for me because that's where his journey started. Was he looked out? But it's because at the people, universe. It's because so many had expectations of like, oh, it's Kylo versus uh, Luke. He's gonna dominate him. He's gonna come out and just be this like Daddy. force of. <laughs> and, um, but, but it's like no. He learned how to like. Why did he run away? Why did he, why did he hide? Yeah. Because he didn't know what the dark side was. And yeah, as soon as he's like, in college. he's like, he's like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. this is an ex <laughs> this is an excellent analysis of this thing. I this I'm totally behind <laughs> no, this. Yeah. Yeah. Then, but then he finally like uh, becomes a Jedi. He's like, well, I have to uh, carry on the path, so I'm going to start teaching people without fully understanding. The yeah. force. Yeah. And yeah. what happens? Of course, he's gonna have a student that then turns on him, or or uh, looks at and goes, "No, we can do better," or, or "I can be better." Well, all that stuff. Ben it's was like, just like dark side curious, you know, like, yeah. and it was my favorite scene <laughs> in the movie where it's just like all dark side analogies. curious, <laughs> where where like Ben is like sleeping in his little hut, he's like, hum -shum -hum -shum -shum. and then like Luke is just like, "Should I?" Kill him? Yeah. <laughs> Should I kill him? He's and he's like, and, then, and, he's, the dark side, and yeah. he's like looking at his lightsaber, and he's like, "Should I?" And then like, and then like Ben wakes up. He's like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. And it was like, it was yeah. so. Yeah. And he was like, Grrr! and everyone's like screaming. And it's so funny. I think this yeah. is the funniest part of the movie. <laughs> Where like he's just like. What? Now the go, but with that whole, uh, you know, the fandom having expectations and what up and mm -hmm. whatnot, I I know that a lot of hardcore Harry Potter fans have problems with the movies because you know it's based off of a book series. Yeah, and, and Snape isn't of, hot enough. And there's a lot of moments, <laughs> as you recall from our earlier series just, on Harry yeah. Potter. There's a lot yeah. of moments that are either <laughs> forgotten, changed because they're trying to adapt. Voldemort is my past present and future. Like just with any adaptation, I think no matter what, you're gonna have to change it in some way. Mm -hmm. um, but I think while that could be a negative, I don't think it affects the movies so bad because I think there's a lot of people who have watched the movies and never read the books and enjoy the story and love yeah. the characters and everything. Yeah. I think if you're a true hardcore fan, you're like, no, I read all the books and the movies and there's these differences. It's like you can do the same thing with Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, you can do the same thing with pretty much anything. Yeah. It's just it. But I think that the 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 off of the base, uh, off of the basis of the books, I think the fr I think the franchise just does so well in terms of bringing these characters to the life, yeah, the story, and and the heart of uh, of of the tale of Harry Potter and, and yeah. everything that happens. And it's also like a rag stretches story. Like J.K. Rowling just wrote about these dumb British kids with magic. You know, like all these publishers rejected her. Mm -hmm. Small print picked it up, and it being this huge hit. Yeah. And I do then have to. Ex I do have to bring up Lucas. No one wanted to make Star Wars. They thought it was well for good reason. Han Solo was a fish man. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thought that Star Wars was a stupid fucking idea. Like no one. Yeah. Like everyone's like a space movie. What the fuck yeah. is this? And and it what it was a handful of people who were like, uh, no. Th I think Lucas has something. And it wasn't until. Um, the story is that they screened the first cut of it and it didn't have any music. Um, and uh, uh, Lucas invited a bunch of his pals, so he invited like Spielberg, Scorsese, uh, Francis uh, for Coppola, oh. like a bunch, Brian De Palma, like a bunch of these filmmaker friends that he went to school with. And he's like, look at this movie that I'm making. And they all went, this is hot garbage, George. Like, what are you doing? And then they screened it again with 
John Williams' music, and everyone went, this is a masterpiece. Amazing. It, it's so interesting how, yeah. like, mm. it was such an underdog story of, like, yeah. no, I want to make these this series of movies, and it's going to be good. Yeah. And, yeah. and yeah, no, these are both these are both stories of, like, people who were like, I have a vision, mm -hmm. and I want to make it. Yeah. Which is mm -hmm. actually funny that they paired up together. Yeah. Yeah, they, they are very similar in many ways. Mm -hmm. And all the heroes are, like, the chosen one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Lightsaber one. Yeah. Same, same, same? It's, it's yeah. 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 Magic, force. They're united. Yeah. The, yeah. the main villain they have some type of connection to. Yeah. And also mangled faces. Mangled faces? Mangled faces. Yeah. 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 Creatures and weird uh, weird characters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who's, uh, yelling? who's the hottest trash character uh, to the Jar Jar level in Harry Potter? Oh. I don't think there is one. Uh, the, 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 the J.K. Rowling put in a character who wasn't white for two books and then took her out. What's her name? Cho Chang? Yes. Oh. That's, that's, that's the most garbage J.K. Rowling move. It's like, um, they're not all white. Do you remember Cho Chang? Her last name? Do you remember? Her and Harry. She's had not white. Thing. Do you yeah, remember what she did? Yeah. 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 Faith man. Also, transphobia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, also, I just, but I just love how like, like JK wrote like people would be like, hey JK, like you just like there's a lot of stuff to eat mess, and she's like, well Dumbledore loves to eat ass. <laughs> oh. Oh. And you're like, okay, and she's like, no, but Dumbledore loves, and it's like, okay JK, stop. And it's like, you know what? They used to pee in hats. <laughs> <laughs> Pee in the hats. It's like there was that weird tweet where it's just, it was just like someone asked, yeah. someone asked, "What are the bathroom situation like in the in the, uh, the Harry Potter universe?" And yeah, they poop and everywhere and everywhere. There are no toilets. There are no toilets. Yeah, there like, are no toilets. Dumbledore is the human toilet. He's a piss pig. <laughs> and it's, oh and God. it's just like piss pig. yeah. <laughs> Dumbledore, oh, all right. is, Dumbledore is, loves to be human toilet. And it's just like, oh my god. All right. Uh, 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 and that is my vote. I guess what, I guess, I guess what, we, what can help compare is like oh. comparing just like very um, easy to grasp like concepts of these movies where it's like uh, the music. Both John Williams. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah, John Williams did the first one. But you know what? I don't remember anything from here. Don't know her. Put in the Mariah Carey gift, like, I don't know her. But that's all I... I mean, Star Wars is an older franchise, so let's. I won't crap on too much. But Star Wars has the opening, which is iconic, and then... Still oh, the, the a moment crawl. that gives me, I mean, it's always been the series, but in the, the Force Awakens, I think it might be my number one Star Wars moment, is when it's Kylo, he's going for the lightsaber, it jiggles a bit, he goes for it, it breaks oh, his past, and it goes to the right. Ray catches it, oh, I, I, get, I get goosebumps even thinking That's about great. it, and the music just swells. and the new yeah. hero is chosen, and she's there just at the right time, and they're gonna yeah. have an epic life. That mm -hmm. is what I love about Star Wars. Yeah. There's not a single, I, I almost got fired for reading Harry Potter books, so I do oh, love Harry Potter, but um, there's no moment in Harry Potter that swells and like brings, makes me yeah. like Actually, this. Right. This is an Star argument Wars. I always make against Harry Potter, is yeah. that in the final couple of movies and, and like near the end, a lot of people die, and in the movies, they don't give a fuck about them. Yeah. Hedwig dies. Hedwig! <laughs> Who cares the rest of the movie? Right. Mm. One of the twins dies! Okay, we'll move on. Like, there's so many characters. Or, uh, or, or, uh, Lupin and, um, uh, what's her name? Lupin Tonks. dies? Or uh, Tonks. Tonks dies. I think Tonk and Lupin die. Lupin died? But it's know. like off screen. Oh. oh. And it's just like, and it's <laughs> the just like, dead. And it's just like, it's just like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> Ron comes in, Lupin's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, but it is, no, but it's a, it is a moment in the movies. So, it, is, it is a mo moment in the movies where they go, they didn't make it. And then it's just like, there's no caring about yeah. Yeah. Their, right. these characters that we've loved yeah. Yeah. and they're passing because these just got barrel through the end so that yeah. Harry and yeah. Voldemort can have their rolling around yeah. uh, down the hill and Honestly, shooting magic at my, each other. My The thing that gives me chills in Harry Potter 
is not even like a live action thing. It's the uh, it's the Deathly Hollows animation moment where they tell the story of the three brothers and it's all uh. like picture book animated. Mm. That thing I will watch just that and I get chills because I'm like, this is so in- this is such great lore. Yeah, that's creative. Like mm-hmm. these three brothers and it's all about you know power, wisdom, and courage and um, and like then how that relates to Harry and Snape and mm-hmm. Voldemort yeah. and like. Uh, that's really cool and interesting, and I really, really love that. Um, we're talking about music, cinematography. Star Wars is, I think, I feel like, I feel like, in terms of like look and cin- mm-hmm. cinema, like it. The first trilogy was really great, and then it did go downhill because I really, truly think that like the the prequels. That's where it was like, we can use green screen and create whatever yeah. we want. And yeah. that started the trend of like actors just acting to a ball in a completely green room and yep. having no idea what they're, yeah. like, where to get their emotion from with with everything. Yeah. Um, and the new movies that, you know, the, the new trilogy, you know, you had these filmmakers who were like, no, we want to go back to like, yeah. real props and, and, and animatronics and like, and like BB-8 is... Amazing. So, yeah. yeah, it's a real. It's never CG. It's a real thing. Yeah. Um, and of the second movie, where they're on that planet, and like it's like white, and there's red dirt underneath. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Love that. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Just flicked you. Fight scenes. Yeah. Fight scenes are great. A lot of people. I will say a lot of people talk about how uh, the choreography is not that great in the Star Wars movies. Um, it, it's very hit and miss. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the, the, the uh, Last Jedi, in, yeah. in, in, and everybody agrees with this, the throne room after, um, I don't even remember what his name is. The guy who was supposed Snow, to be Snoke. Palpatine Snow. Yeah. They take out Snoke, and they had that fight. We all know that's an amazingly well choreographed fight scene. It's love a- watching it. It's actually funny if if uh, you talk to any uh, Sun people, they look at it and they go, "This is a really bad fight scene." Really? Because I love it. There's no, so many good moments. W- yeah. What I think is for a general audience, they they do it correctly. Where in that fight scene, you're really just focused on Ray and uh, Kylo. Yeah. But if you sit and watch that sequence and you look at any of the guards, there's so many parts where like. The, the two of them are fighting someone, and the rest of them are just standing around. Yeah. And, and, then, and then like, okay, and three, two, okay, now it's my moment. Yeah. And and that's and that's the only thing. But I think all of the one v one fights in Star Wars are great. Da- Darth Maul fight, great. Great. Kylo and Rey on that uh, on the water planet. Oh. That's a mm. great fight mm. scene. And I mean, even the first three, right? Like, um, I don't know. It's Obi Wan Kenobi. He's an old actor. It's Alec Guinness. Like, give him. They also. It's fine. The technology was brand new. It's brand yeah. new. Like, give him. Give him some. But I'm saying like Return of the. Even so, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. I love those lightsaber fights. Mm, yeah. I love them. The second one's like Luke's way in over his head. This is like going bad. Yeah. And then at the end, like that's another one of my favorite moments. Is like he's there. He's like, "There's good in you. I can help." And then it's like, "Sister." And he's like, "No." And he's like, "Well, if you won't come, then maybe she will." It's like, yeah, that's it. Comes. Now you've yeah. done it. Mm, and yeah. then it's this thing. He cuts the hand off. The oh, I love that. That's a great moment. Yeah. Too. Harry Potter fight sequence. Says it's. Yeah, like a well, it's hard to make a magic fight look cool. Dumbledore versus yeah. Voldemort, though, in uh, Order of the Phoenix, great, yeah, great yeah. battle, yeah. great. It looks great. He turns yeah. up, it's like fire into butterflies, into glass, into sand. Yeah. It's, it's very cool. I guess acting. Mm. Oh. oh, it's an interesting one. Hold me, hold me like it's <laughs> in a boom. <laughs> that sand poor, gets in your fingers and makes you sandy. Poor Hayden Christensen. Poor Natalie. Poor Portman. Hayden Christensen. Look at all this sand. I hate it. It's in my taint. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have taint sand, and no one likes taint sand. <laughs> you actually even uh, poor uh, uh, what's his name? Should that played Obi Wan? Uh, Ewan McGregor? Ewan McGregor. Killing younglings. Younglings. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah. No, those three movies. Ugh. It's it's because George right? Lucas yeah. sucks. Like it's just like great storyteller, great producer, amazing he, business person. Not he, good he's not a good or writer. You like, are the chosen one. one. I have the high ground. <laughs> I loved you. <laughs> or my favorite was just like you where are my brother Anakin. Or when like um, uh, Natalie Portman, uh, not, uh, what's her name, Queen Amidala, she's like she died, like oh she died of heart, right? <laughs> and it's just yeah. like oh broken. my <laughs> god. But then the new trilogy, uh, bring in unnamed talent. I yeah, the choice of John Boyega, he comes to this thing, no one's seen him before, not a name, and just sweeps this movie. Yep. He is yeah. so charming, so he's so cute, just like, I, I, I am, I am part of the so, room. Uh, Oscar, the, um, what's his name? Oscar, Oscar Isaac. Isaac. Yeah, so we, good. Uh, he was a, he was, we knew who he was. He's a name, yeah. He's a great actor. Yeah. 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 Ray, not known, yeah. really yeah. good too. He's really yeah. Um, who else yeah. uh, in that? Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, Adam Driver. Adam so Driver. Good. Adam, well, Adam Driver awesome. is just like yeah. an amazing. Actor. I was gonna say, you know what? Yeah. When you said you didn't like your Snape, I was like, if Adam Driver was Snape, would you love Snape? Oh I bet you would. I knew you would. I knew you would. I knew your taste. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, Adam Driver would have been an amazing Snape. Uh, uh, I don't care that he, he was like a teenager. I don't fucking care. Adam Driver is a sore spot for me because my girlfriend is very attracted to Adam Driver. <laughs> Who so is it? I like to make yeah. excuses and be like, yeah, but are we sure he's a good actor though? You know like, me. Sure <laughs> I know he's a good he's actor. Like, but I just such a good actor that he can't a, even watch himself act. That's how good he is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so strange. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, good no. for him. Oh. Um, this is this is such a weird. I don't know. How are you guys feeling? I, I, I feel know. good. I, I know, I, I know a my choice, knows. but mother I think knows. it's close. I know. Uh, but I know my choice. I know my choice. I'm, yeah. a, mother, a mother knows. Right. Yeah. A mother, a mother knows. knows. We could keep going on and on and talking about yeah. this, but I think yeah. the final, like, these are two franchises where I truly believe, like, their impact is, I think one is more than the other. Yes. Yeah. But I think in a lot of different categories, they're very equal. Yeah. Yeah. In terms of, like... A generation of uh, moviegoers, of fans, of uh, telling a story over a long period of time, yeah. uh, interesting characters, mm -hmm. uh, doing fun things with the genre of like fantasy and sci-fi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, both of them have theme parks now. Like that's mm. a huge thing. Yeah. Both of them have creators that should probably stop trying to add new stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're both slowly ruining it. Yeah, yeah. 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 but yeah. but I I do think I know what it's gonna be. Yeah, so. yeah, me too. A mama knows. Are you? The, uh, raise your hand if you're voting for Harry Potter. <laughs> Raise Don't your, kill us. And raise your hand if you're voting for Star Wars. Mm. Oh, yeah. Star Wars, it, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, a, it's a subjective choice because I think that Star Wars has just done so much more. Um, and is an entity of itself of, like, generational... Um, Harry Potter could just. I think it's the fans truly that keep Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, I think oh, so. and relevant. Sure. Yeah. 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 relevant. Yeah. Well, Star Wars yeah. will be. Might I say too, just so the Star Wars fans don't get too happy about this, I prefer Harry Potter fans over Star Wars fans. Yes. Harry Potter 100%. fans are inclusive. They love people. <laughs> they just want to have fun. They don't take it too seriously. Yeah. Star Wars people. Ooh. I'm one of you, and I, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. a distasteful human sometimes about it's, my yeah, opinions. No, yeah, no, I Y'all played yourself. Oh, man. Yeah. So, yeah, Star Wars moves into the finals. Yep. Wow. And what will be an interesting discussion of Star Wars versus Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think a lot of people could have seen this coming. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those where it could have yeah. yeah. happened. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. And to, in order to see how that turns out, You'll have to make sure that you subscribe to the Click channel. Click that button. And because it's coming out next week okay. and you want to make sure that you're informed mm -hmm. about when it comes out. But yes. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you in the finals of this season one of The Bracketeers deciding what is the greatest movie franchise of all time. Adam Driver versus Scarlett Johansson and not in a marriage story mm -hmm. but between films. <laughs> oh. So, oh. Universes. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Laura Dern is also... In Star Wars, so it's just like it's all coming Who's together. Who's also in Marriage Story? Yeah, oh. she's a lawyer, divorce lawyer. Oh, you need to see Marriage Story. 
Go see Marriage Story. <laughs> <laughs> the next one will be uh, yeah. Yeah. Marriage Story. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.